So this is Saturday for me up in Kirkland. Uh, Matt Hewn, he's in Singapore right now. He's on his way back home. Um, but we had Trevor Jackson and uh, Brad Curtin working out today. Bibiano Fernandez, Tim Botris here too. So as you already see, I'm the smallest guy in here rolling with these guys. It's the name Mighty Mouse, so they gave it to me. But uh, yeah, man, just uh, putting things together, you know, for the fight against Domino Cruz and feeling really good and uh, just mixing it up and hopefully we go out there and do very well against them. After everything's done, I said it'll be like 13 weeks of training camp. Um, usually before that, you know, when it was like eight weeks out, I was doing like three days going to the uh, YMCA, doing lifting, and then swimming right after that. They're going home eating and then uh, chilling for four hours and then going back to the gym and doing uh, CrossFit and then mixed martial arts. So it was a very long, very long process, but now that we're getting close to the fight, um, I'm working on my speed, trying to get a little bit faster than it usually is, and just putting things together and making sure, you know, we have Dominic's number that night when we step in the cage and uh, go after, you know, put the pressure on and try to come home with a W. I think you have a lot of guys in that 135 pound weight class that have pretty good tanks of gas and can push the pace. But I think if you look back at a lot of the fights that Dominic's had, I think that Dominic's been able to control the pace and some of the guys have pushed forward at times, but not constantly kept pressure. And I think the style that we like to train here at the AMC is that constant pressure, always moving forward, staying on the guy. And I think that's what DJ can bring to this fight. That would be a little bit new for Dominic to deal with. He's got all of the attributes that one needs. He's one of the most athletic guys that I know. Um, he's got the discipline, he's got the conditioning, um, he's proven that. And he's got the intelligence and the dedication to continue to get better, you know, work with different fighters. And you know, some come in to get ready for fights. DJ is always working to get better. Yes, he's working to get fights, but it's just another day of training for him. I mean, not to oversimplify it, but really it is. He's got a larger goal, and that's to continue to get better. So mm -hmm. it separates him from all of those attributes separate him from other people that I've encountered before, for the most part. It's amazing just to see him live his dream. Um, honestly, live a dream. And it's really cool to be able to see that he's fighting for a title. I think um, he's jumped from almost somebody walking to a gym one day, and then all of a sudden here he's fighting for a title. It's just phenomenal. I think it's great. Like I tell everybody, you know, I, I just joined the sport just to have fun and, and just to enjoy it and keep myself active and have some abs and everything. And then it just took one step after another, and Matt was like, oh, we're going to go to Shuto, we're going to Shuto. And he was like, because I'm small, but, you know, it just worked out. I fight at 135, and I'm here fighting for the world title, you know, so. Nice. You know.